And that's how Shogun Ray Newstop saved Lego from going bankrupt back in 2004. Uh, that's so interesting. In fact, the last few presents only won because of them. That's not true. Yeah, it is. Don't underestimate the Lego lobby. They were all a part of the Lego Nazi. That's how they all won. Do you mean the Illuminati? Oh, yeah. That's what it's called. You know what? Now that you mentioned it, I don't think Lego had anything to do with Obama becoming president. It was probably the Mafia. What's up, guys? Wow, you look awful. Thank you. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just didn't get much sleep last night. Yeah, why is that? I don't know. It's a combination between the fact that I'm really anxious and my girlfriend wants to have sex three times a night. All that sex and you're still anxious. Why are you so anxious? I don't know, why does anyone get nervous? What are you guys doing here? We found this bottle of urine and we're trying to figure out whose it is. It's a story that's too juicy to pass up. What story? You found a bottle of pee! That's gross, throw it away. Statements like that is why you'll never be a good journalist. Why did you bring a bottle of pee here? We're trying to figure out whose urine it is. Well, I can't speak for these two, but it's certainly not mine, Marcus. That's not my pee. Kevin? Nope, not mine, but I'm curious to find out. Come on, guys. Let's go investigate. Thank you. Oh, Audrey, what are you doing here? What? Can I visit my man at work? Hey, what's in the bottle? Urine. Oh my god. That is disgusting. What? What? Whose piss is that? We don't know. It's called journalistic integrity. Maybe you've heard of it. Oh my god, can you please get that pee out of here and leave? That is so gross! Ooh, typical film girl can't handle a little urine. Come on, guys, let's go. So, what's up? Oh, I can't stand that know-it-all bitch. Anyways, you ready to go to the zoo? Remember? We talked about this last night. Mm, no, zoo? Marcus, this always happens. You never listen to me. Well, no, that's not true. I listen sometimes. Most of the time, even. But you say so much, Audrey, it's kind of hard for me to retain all of it. Well, that's no excuse. Are we going to the zoo or not? I'm sorry, I just have way too many tours to do today. But we'll do it some other time, okay? So you're blowing me off for some stupid tour? Why can't you let him cover for you? Hey, who says I have any free time? Yeah, I can't lay all my tours off on him. He's my friend. We'll do it sometime soon, okay? Well, that was rather unpleasant. Yeah, tell me about it. Anyway, you better go. You're going to be late, dude. Well, actually, I don't exactly have any tours today. Then why did you tell her that? Well, okay, so Sarah and I are working on a project together for French, and I thought it would go over more smoothly with my girlfriend if I said, I'm going to do work instead of, I'm going to hang out with another girl. You know? What's the project? Well, Sarah and I have to go to the zoo and gather information about animals and then talk about them in French. So you're avoiding not going to the zoo with your girlfriend to go to the zoo with some other girl? Yeah, I'm, uh, when you put it like that, it sounds bad. What other way could you put it? I don't know. Probably not any way that would make me sound good. But I gotta go. We're actually meeting in like 10, so I'll see you later. Later. Okay, so what do we know about this bottle of urine? Well, it was in the newspaper room this morning. Great, what else? It was cold when we found it, so it must have been there a while. Exactly. So that means... It's someone that had access to the newspaper room between the hours of 11 p.m. and 6 
8.30 a.m. That's crazy. How do you know the exact time? It's called journalistic integrity. Maybe you've heard of it. Of course I have. You just said it. Just so you know, I don't know how to say any of these animals in French, so I'm sorry in advance for how useless I'm going to be. That's okay. Having you here for company is good enough. in the bottle before the pee. I'm willing to bet it with bong water. So I say to you this. Brian here stayed here curious of the side effects. So he drank it. And then he pissed in the very same bottle. <laughs> me. Sorry, bro. So, do you remember the word for rhinoceros? No, oh, wait, I know this. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Uh, okay, tell me. It's rhinoceros. Come on, man. I've been telling you that all day. It's the easiest one. I know, one. I know. I just can't get it stuck in there. You know, I have a terrible memory. You remembered my name from my tour. You give so many of those tours that you remember my name, that's impressive. Well, yeah, it's not like I remember all the names from all my tours. I mean, come to think of it, you're the only one I remember. Aw, I feel so special. Why just me? Well, I don't know, there's something about you I just couldn't forget. And believe me, I tried. You tried to forget me. Well, wait, not like that. I just mean, I thought I was never going to see you again. And my friend was talking about how I was rational, and I kept going on and on about how beautiful you are. You think I'm beautiful? Of course I do. Wait. What? I don't know if it's a good idea. Since we're working on this project together and everything, I just don't know. I get anxious. You get anxious. Like there's a place in this world where trees and leaves can be seen. 